So I'm working on my 94 GMC CR 1500 pickup here. I had an intermittent start, an intermittent fire. It wouldn't fire. And then you come out the next day, it fire. Wait another day or two, it wouldn't fire. Come back another day, wood fire. So I'll put that, I'll put that pickup on there, that cool pickup or whatever you want to call it. Put that on there. Thought that did it. It worked for a little bit. Nah, it did the exact same thing. And I thought it was my battery over there. With I took it out right now, but um, I thought it was the grounds. Everybody was saying you got a you got a ground. It's right here. If y'all can see that, is and normally goes bad. Well, I thought that was it. It started for a day or two, then now nah, it cut off again. It wouldn't ruin. And so. I said, God, no, this is a distributor. So I went on ahead and ordered one up. And as you can see, what I did, I took note of where the where the button was and what cylinder it was as far as the, the cap goes, and I marked it. And I also took a picture of where it was too because it has to go back in the same place. Not only that, I took a little piece of a ruler. Actually, I broke that ruler off. And I lined it up. I lined it up on here. And of course I just marked it out where it was. And you gotta mark it. You see that mark in the back? I marked where it was so it'd go back in the exact same place as best it can. Anyway, so I'm at the point now I'm about to snatch this distributor out of here. And uh, we'll see what happens guys. I'll bring you back here in just a moment. All right guys, so I got the old one out. Take note as best you can exactly where this thing goes back down into. And what it does, it rotates. When you pull that distributor out, when you pull that distributor out, it rotates a little bit to the left. Just a little bit to the left. And, um, and when you put it back down, it needs to go in where it came out at because it's going ro to rotate back to your right. So... Let me get this one out the box here. This Amazon went out the box, and uh, let's see, let's see what happens. But that's the old one right here. Oh, 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 oh! Don't drop your tools, cat. Don't drop your tools. And you can't really see if it's bad, but I think this thing here, I think this right here, and you can replace it. But what you got to do is you got to knock that pin out and this and that. And by the time I did that, I could have ordered up a distributor and put it in. Anyway. Let's see what happens, guys. Hold tight. Dang old Amazon distributor, right? <laughs> oh man. So what I had to do, tell y'all this, cause ain't no need of faking like I just dropped it in there and it was all good. Now it didn't take me all that long, but let me see if I can set this camera up a little bit and show y'all. See how so of course this is the this is the old one. And what I had to do when I dropped it in, now it just like I got it right now. Just like I got that thing lined up right now is how it was sitting in the truck, okay? And when I tried to put in a new one, I couldn't get that, I couldn't get that button lined up exactly in the same place. It kept going off. And remember when I drop, when you drop this thing in, it's gonna go to the right. When you pull it up, it's gonna go to the left. And so when I pulled it up, or well, when I had it in the truck, I marked it, I knew where it was. And so I said, I'm going to drop the new one in there just the same way. Well, when I dropped the new one in, it kept shooting off. It kept shooting off to the um, further right than I wanted it. So what I did, I kept playing with it, and I kept picking it up and turning turning this and dropping it in. Picking it up, turning it, and I'm talking about a full 360 turn. Or, or you know, I, I stopped every about 45 and you'll feel it. it this, it'll drop in. It's a pin down on the bottom. 
y'all can see that pin down in there. Let's see if I can get that thing just right. It's a pin. It's a pin in, in, in the inside of this thing. You see, can't see that pin in there? And it's gonna drop in. And you'll feel it when the thing sits. You'll feel it when it when it seats down. And uh, anyway, so I had to keep turning. Now I turned that thing. I turned this thing. I felt like I turned it probably about five times. I'm talking about 45 degrees each turn. You know, I kept stop, drop it, stop, drop it, stop, drop it. All the way. Ain't that a song? Anyway, uh, anyway, until I got this lined up close close to where the old one was and long story short the truck is running again I, I, i'm not gonna act like i'm a you know i do mess around on cars from time to time but, uh so i'm not gonna act like i'm no no car guru or anything but that's what it took for me to to get that distributor in there so i tightened everything back up fairly simple um a couple tools you're gonna you're gonna really need you're gonna really need that some kind of crow's foot to get in there to that distributor boat and um i i like to use a socket when i'm taking that when i'm taking this cap and this is the cap it comes with a cap and a button as well um and so when i'm messing with that cap you see them little bolts right there it's a 5.5 so i take that um i like using a socket with those things these tend to help hold up a little bit better um let me see here let me, let me what else do i need to think of i'm gonna put a description in there um in the link or somewhere about this daggone man i'm just gonna show you the box you can you can take it off the box guys you, you, can y'all read that right there holding it up there for you hopefully you can it's focusing and you can understand what it is anyway that's what i got i got a uh i got a 94 um gmc cr 1500 four-wheel drive with a 5.7 guys all i did was drop that thing in there for the most part i think again the hardest part was getting that cap lined up um that rotor button or whatever you call it rotor button lined up where it was when it came off, you make sure you line up everything as best you can. And what I had to do is keep dropping it and turning it and turning it. And you'll see every time you drop it and you come all the way back around 360, well, where you came around, started with it 360, ain't exactly where it was before. It's, it's, a, it's a little off, a little off, a little off, a little off. <laughs> Live action. Guys, today is the first day of dog season. Uh, I know I talked to Mr. Daryl Dark. Said that we should shoot me some text there. Good luck, Mr. Dark. Uh, even Bo. Bo hit me up. Dog driver hit me up. And a few more guys. Uh, um, oh, Lane. Lane up there in Northampton County. Good luck. And... Uh, and the guys good luck y'all good luck to y'all guys man y'all enjoy this beautiful day this is i mean you can you beat this guys anyway live action <laughs> i'll see you in the woods